for me, it's about kindness. It's a, it, and and you can cut that in so many ways. For me, it's always been about from when you watch those stories. You know, you can kind of put all the way the heart and the era all the way through to today. You you can pull that theme all the way through. It's about being kind. Doctor Who Time Fracture is an immersive uh, theatre show. What I mean by that is um, we aren't like a traditional theatre show. So we don't have you sat in your seats watching a play on a stage. We've thrown all that idea in the bin. Uh, and what we've done is make you your own star in your own episode of Doctor Who effectively. So we've created 17 different worlds. Um, a, a lot of them remain secret uh, as, as part of the storytelling. And this whole narrative um, which we've based around unit. So uh, our audiences are very specifically chosen and they have been invited by the doctor. Their name has turned up on this list. Uh, and the doctor has said that they need to be here at this time on this day uh, in order to assist with Operation Time Fracture. And Doctor Who it itself, it, it's a show that has been running for nearly 58 years. Um, so uh, when approaching Time Fracture, what elements have you taken from that back catalogue of uh, the show uh, and and put into the immersive event. What can people expect when they when they come to the immersive experience? I think um, the easiest thing to say, uh, and then I'd love to dig into it, is there's something for everyone, which is a really easy thing to say. And then we have doubled and trebled down on that. So there's probably 400 Easter eggs in the show, which are nods to classic canon and new canon. Um, the, just the sheer scale of what we're talking about here, when we say 17 different worlds we don't mean 17 different rooms we mean 17 different worlds um so you know there's there's two and a half thousand lights in the show there's uh, but i've just left the technical rehearsals now and there's nearly five thousand cues lighting cues in the show it's absolutely massive one thing that did excite me is of course the announcement that david bradley uh, will be back as the first doctor at the experience what is it like getting those people on board and that caliber of star can we expect to find some other stars dotted about uh, in in, uh, in the show. Oh, you probably can. We've got some big announcements coming uh, th this week um, of, of who you might expect. Why to not find. announce it now? Why not put no. it out now? Let's do it here oh, right now. I <laughs> <laughs> I would if I could. I would if I, I bet I'd get a, a strongly worded letter. I think when we start dropping those announcements, people will go, oh, this, this is special. You can kind of engage with this wherever you fell in love with Doctor Who. Uh, it's going to be there for you. And, you know, and, and that's really exciting for me. To me, Doctor Who means, um, well, it's, it's helped me within my career and it's brought me great joy throughout my life. <laughs>